Hi, this is my 1999 Chrysler Concorde with a 3.2 and um, I was driving it the other day and uh, I, I came to us I slowed down a little bit and uh, all of a sudden the car started uh, um, idling rough um, it just happened all of a sudden and then I got an engine code came up and um, it was a multi-cylinder um, misfire, uh, code 300, 301, 303, and 305. And um, the last numbers are all odd, so that means it's on um, all odd cylinders. And um, I, um, I couldn't figure out what, what was wrong. Maybe it was the spark plugs, misfire or something. And... Um, I decided to take and replace the timing chain and the water pump and when I took off the cover off of the timing belt um, I noticed that the um, I noticed that the timing uh, the timing was off on the odd side the odd bank it's off by a little bit I hope you can see this I used my daughter's uh, orange uh, nail polish it's that top dead center right here that's the crank top dead center this is the even side see that's lined up almost in the middle where it's supposed to be on the even side this is a six cylinder v6 and then this is the odd side And um, I've taken uh, timing chains and replaced timing chains before, and I had an old uh, timing uh, cr a harmonic balance puller. And um, with this car, you need a special puller. And uh, this is it right here. This is my new harmonic balance puller. It comes out like this. This is uh, this rod comes out rod comes out and there's different length rods Let's see the different length rods they're all different lengths and this way you don't have to take the uh, the radiator out you can leave it in when you're pulling the harmonic balancer oh, you just got to have a special Puller, that's it right here. This is a OTC puller, and when I opened it up, found a bunch of um, it's like a bird's nest in there from the the timing belt. It um, the inside here got chewed up really bad, and uh, there's there's belt marks everywhere from the outside of the belt probably slipped or slipping or something I don't know this is the water pump I'm gonna be replacing this they, they recommend when you replace the belt to replace the water pump since you got this all opened up feels okay oh no there's play there that's probably what tore the belt up right there I don't know if you can see this here I'll pull it here get a better picture here from the side it's got a wobble to it that's the bearing a little bit of play for that's probably what burnt out the belt and you can see the belt, belt marks right here you can see the belt marks right there from it riding on the water pump and just from the bearing from the water pump this side too it's worn just worn clean there's no it's no there's no grooves or nothing it's just clean from the belt and then there's all kinds of gunk I don't know if you can see it all kinds of gunk inside the the cogs of the crankshaft 
And the pulley here is kind of filthy here. If you could see that, it's getting really filthy. And then there's belt. Belt goo everywhere. The timing belt got chopped up pretty bad. But luckily, luckily when uh, the engine was running at high speeds, it um, I drove it home from work and um, I got about 45, 50 miles an hour. And um, the car ran okay, except when you came to an idle, the engine shook a little bit. It just was a rough, rough, little rough. And uh, you could tell there's something wrong when you were at a stop. And then, um, yeah. So I, um, I replaced the spark plug wires. Now I'm going to be replacing the belt. I replaced the sensor to uh, a cam position sensor. And um, um, I'll be replacing the water pump too. I got that. I bought that and the belt and um, I'll be cleaning it up so it's my car this is my timing belt job the uh, car has um, I think about 73,000 miles on it that's it 73,000 a little old 73,000 and I think they recommend it at 60 or 70 I don't know And that's my uh, timing belt uh, mishap. I hope uh, I hope this helps.